The hardware allows us to take these visions, these ideas about these new products, and make it all real. Imagine a computer that allows you to put your images anywhere, and you can interact with things as a combination of the real world and holograms. You have a bunch of different systems that need to come together in one big symphony. Every time you think you understand it, it's like peeling an onion. There's suddenly another layer of things which you suddenly realize, oh, yeah, of course, we have to figure that out now. We don't have room for error. We don't have room for drift. We don't have room for those normal things that happen in a device. So it's working with these people across the world and bringing it all together into this brand new product. We envisioned an all-in-one device that is untethered with built-in batteries, hands-free, and floating audio. You have to come up with a holographic processing unit because you're constantly producing data every single millisecond. Visor lens is so complex. While it looks very simple and pure, it needs to accommodate so many requirements to see progressive content. The audio components need to take in all of that information about where is my head, where am I looking, so that your brain knows that there's something real over there. The enclosure wraps around the user's head to provide great away distribution. We have so many sensors on this product. To read all those in real time and to do that in a very power efficient way requires the power of what they develop with the new version of Windows. We need to get the hardware just right so that we can sort of unleash that creativity in the world. I think we have great ideas. I think when we get it out to developers, we're going to get hundreds of great ideas. And that's what Build Conference is all about, right? We want to get it out to people, show them, hey, this is real and this actually works. Now, let's see what you can do with it. With Windows 10, holograms are universal Windows apps, and all universal Windows apps can be made to work on Windows Holographic. Everything you have seen here today is a universal Windows app. Developers, this opens up a new vein of innovation and a new vein of opportunity. With holograms, you'll have a new canvas to express your creativity. Your apps can come to life, and they can be experienced naturally in the world around you. But seeing is believing. So let's take a look at how portability of experiences, enabled by Windows 10, can change the way makers like you, interact with the physical things that you build. And to show us mixing holograms with IoT, please help me welcome on stage my very good friend, Miko. Hey, Alex. Hi, Miko. I'd like you to meet B15. This year, millions of people will use maker kits like this one to enter robot competitions and learn about electronics. Many of them will use Raspberry Pi 2, which now supports Windows 10 IoT Core. We were inspired to see what we could do with the same hardware and HoloLens. So let me show you. B15, wake up. up. <laughs> Say hello to the real B15. <laughs> because every Windows 10 device has APIs for human and environment understanding we were able to overlay a holographic robot on top of a physical one. And one thing we noticed while working is, you need your data to be easily accessible. But adding displays to this frame increases your cost, and there's no way to see all that information at once. So let me show you how we check on our data. B15 control panel. This spatial UI system is a universal Windows app. I'm pulling the data from B15, making it as big as I need it to be, and placing it where it's relevant in my world. And I love it that Miko didn't have to actually go back to her desk to do it. This is a great example of how Windows 10 makes your digital life more powerful by connecting it with your real life. That's right. You can waste a lot of time tweaking variables on another device before you test. But if all I need to do is something simple like change LED color, I can use a control scheme like this. So that's how we envision controls and displays evolving with holograms. Now, so many industrial robots need to find paths safely through their workspaces. Let's take a look at how Miko can help B15 navigate and how holograms can help. 
So B-15 sensors aren't great at detecting obstacles, but the cool thing is they don't have to be. My HoloLens can communicate that information. B-15, pathfinding mode. Now with Windows Holographic, we can scan an environment. We can queue up movement tasks and visualize the robot's path. So all I have to do is air tap the ground, my HoloLens interprets the 3D points, and tells B-15 when to turn and when to move forward. Now this is a great example of how portable our Windows experiences can be. B-15 didn't have to know its environment. The room understanding comes from Windows Holographic. But what happens when the environment actually changes? That's no problem. Because I'm wearing HoloLens, I'm always aware of B-15. I can see it updated its route to go around you. And this is critical if you're working with bigger robots, like those in automotive manufacturing. You need to always be aware of a robot's intentions. HoloLens helps developers understand robots better at any scale or in any scenario. This is just amazing. Thank you so much, Miko. And nice to meet you, B15. B15, say goodbye.